Hello guys, Jimmy here and welcome to this brief tutorial on how to install mods in our factor. Today I'm showing you how to install a car and track mod, so we'll start with the car first. You can see on my screen here that I have the uh, R Factor 1 NSX uh, RAR file uh, in my little folder here, my R Factor video folder. Uh, by default when you download a mod it tends to go to your downloads, obviously I've just put mine here for the sake of the video. And uh, this mod is from R Factor Central, which I'll put in the description, but you can find mods elsewhere, so keep that in mind when looking. So, first thing we're going to do using a kind of extraction program, either 7-zip or WinRAR here, just right click and you can either extract it here and then drag the files over, or you can extract it directly to your R Factor install. For the sake of just uh, your, uh, your viewing, I'm going to kind of do it the uh, easier way to demonstrate and extract it here and drag it across. So, I'm just going to extract it here. Take it, or just do it sing and uh, get it sorted out. And you see here all the stuff it adds in, uh, it adds in real feel for NSX, it adds in uh, README as well, and all these little files that make the, uh, the it, it run properly. So, you see all our files here, we're going to just take those and let's see, get rid of that bottom one there. We're going to just copy it and then we're going to go to our R Factor install. Uh, now, you're going to have to go to the root folder. This is a folder that I already put mods into, as you can see all the stuff down here mods in there. This is what you, your uh, root folder will look like, have the, the, this kind of file structure. Just keep an eye out for that when you're kind of rooting through the games. Um, I forget what it defaults to manually, but if you just search R Factor in your search or even go to the, the start menu and find R Factor in your uh, your programs and just go to the uh, the file location, you'll find it that way. So it, it's easy, easy enough. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to drag this across, even though I've got copy. And then it's going to come up hard if we want to, you know, merge the folders together. We're just going to click yes to everything because, yep, yep, yep. Yes, I want all that, please. Thank you very much. And now that mod is installed. Um, I'll show a quick clip of it in the game in a second. That's how you install a car mod. Okay, so tracks are slightly different in the way you put them into the your R Factor root folder. Um, here you see I've got Tiger Floor here. I'm just going to extract it here very quickly. Just downloaded this from again R Factor Central. Uh, again, it'll be in the description for that. And um, you see here, it doesn't give us a game data folder. It just gives us the kind of location folder. Now you see in uh, now on my root folder again, the game data folder. You just double click that, and then you come into where it says locations. Here it is. And here it will have all the locations you have in your install. This is obviously a couple more um, than you'll see in your basic install because I've got a couple of mods installed already. And again, it's just a matter of just dragging this across and uh, popping it in there and then now that is installed it will be there next time you start your game up now by default um, the mod you install the car mod you install will come up first when you start up your game so it will be there and you'll, kind of, you'll be looking at it ready and waiting if not it will just be a matter of selecting it from the series and uh, pretty much going from there okay so you see now i've run into the game uh, the nsx mod has loaded up it's here you can see it in front of me now and um, so I, that's ready to drive pretty much. Now if you want to obviously go test out the track you just downloaded, go to testing or wherever you want to go. Just check it's in there, here it is, Tiger Florio. And um, there you go, easy as that, you just start up the game. They load up and then you have your car and your track installed. Easy as that. Uh, there are some mods out there that have their own installer. Uh, which basically just means that they'll do it for you as an EXE. So you just click it and then it go from there. Obviously. It, at, do it at your own risk. Um, the sim racing community is generally quite trustworthy, but obviously not everyone in the world is. And um, yeah, I mean that, that's pretty much it. Uh, anything else regarding mods? I mean, you can get kind of graphics mods and stuff like that. I don't really do any of that stuff. I just go for the cars and tracks. Um, but it's all fairly simple once you get the hang of it. So um, thank you for watching, guys. Hopefully that was helpful for you, and I will catch you next time.